Now an incredible medical breakthrough. Imagine this, being plunged into a world of darkness, told you would never see again, only to be given a second chance at sight. You're about to witness some astonishing new technology. It's part of a new digital video series. My company, Rock and Robin Productions, that we're launching today, it is called The Future of Health, and you're going to find it on WebMD. Larry Hester was 33 years old, the father of two young children, when he got the horrible news. The ophthalmologist said, you're going to go blind. It was very devastating. It was like the wind got knocked out of, it was tough. Blindness came quickly, and soon Larry lived his life in the dark, his wife Jerry by his side. And for another 33 years, the couple coped. Reach out for it. Then in 2014, a breakthrough the Hesters never imagined, the possibility that Larry could see again. Look up. It's called the Argus II Retinal Prosthesis System, the world's first FDA-approved device designed to restore vision to the blind, basically a bionic eye. So this secures it to the wall of the eye. How exactly does this work, the bionic eye? How does it restore sight? It starts with electrodes implanted on the patient's retina. And then the patient wears eyeglasses, has a video camera on it. That actually captures the images, sends them to a video processing unit that the patient wears that then sends electrical impulses wirelessly back to the electrodes on the retina and ultimately to the brain, which allows them to decipher really light and dark, not great vision, but spectacular vision for them. It's impossible to tell exactly what the patient can see, but it may be something like this. It's not normal vision as you or I know it. But what they do get is crude series of flashes of lights in a pixelated fashion that allow them to make better sense of their surroundings. In October of 2014, it was time for Dr. Paul Hahn to turn on the device of his first patient, Larry Hester. I did a little countdown, three, two, one, just to kind of catch my own breath. Three, two, one. And then I hit the button. Yes. Can you see? <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, can you see Larry? Yes. Oh my goodness. Can I give him a kiss? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it was wow. so overwhelming. I think yes. my head even oh, uh, rocked back a little bit. It's hard to put in words because for the first time in 33 years, I'm seeing light. So you can see the wall. That's where it changes. That's where it changes, Larry. Right there. Yeah. Yep. Though it's so incredibly basic, and, but it's light, and, and, and it's, in my case, sight. It's my bionic key, man. That is so cool, Larry. Okay, go. Recently, Larry's son-in-law rigged a set of Christmas lights around a basketball hoop. And so I was able to make about four out of seven baskets and That's pretty positive. Uh, yeah, that's good stuff. <laughs> it's great stuff. Um, so happy for Larry and his family. It's a remarkable story of a hope. And that's just a sneak peek of one of five episodes premiering today, each one highlighting an incredible medical breakthrough from a cutting edge, non invasive obesity treatment to 3D printers that are transforming organ transplants. And you got to see these kids that are helping out with that. To an experimental procedure that allows women without a womb to carry and deliver babies of their own. And we'll be, we're gonna be showcasing the people who are coming up with this technology and the, uh, the wonderful people who are, are fortunate to be um, benefiting yeah. from all this so work. So inspirational from the medical standpoint and just from the patient oh, yeah. viewpoint all, all as the well. Way around. The, and, and the name of the series really says it all, the future, future of, of health. health. Right, right, and so we're teaming up with uh, WebMD and so you can catch all five episodes of the series at webmd.com. Right, I hope to do that, yeah.